All right, so the problem I have is a couple weeks ago I was doing an intro to metalwork class and we're making bottle openers and we drifted the hole over top of the hardy hole. Now this hardy hole is a one inch square. I know some anvils have a different size hardy hole, but the problem we were having was we were drifting and moving the bottle opener around to keep the back end from blowing out. Um, what I wanna make is what they call a dial a hole. Uh, it's something that sits down in here in the pritcher hole and you can spin it and it's got different size holes that you can drift punches through. Uh, it makes it doing a bottle opener super easy. So that's the problem we're going to solve this week. So the pritcher hole on my anvil is a half inch. So I've got some scrap half inch rod laying around. I'm going to use some scrap half inch plate that I've got in the shop as well. So stick around and we'll see what we can come up with. All right, here's the idea behind this project. This is an eight inch by six inch piece of quarter inch plate that I have for another project, but the size is similar and this is what the uh, dimensions I'm gonna use to work off of. Uh, we have the center of the plate roughly here. I'm gonna drill a half inch hole for that little nub that's gonna go in the Pritchell hole. And then I'll have probably three holes on this side, three holes on this side. And the idea is you drift out a hole if it needs to go bigger, you turn it, drift out another hole, drift out another hole, turn it and keep going, and it spins just like the old rotary phones, hence the name, dial a hole. All right, it's all cut out. Off camera, I went ahead and cleaned up the edges a little bit and rounded them over so there's no sharp points or anything. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and do a little cross section and find center and uh, get the center of it drilled out. All right, so with that center hole drilled and cleaned up and the little nub, once that's welded in, that'll spin, but this is the idea that I'm trying to accomplish. Now you may have noticed that this plate looks a little different from the last time you saw it. Uh, I went ahead and welded in that little stud and welded on the bottom there and uh, ground all the welds out so that it sits down in there and it spins. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some soapstone and put it up into the party hole like so and run this around to get a couple trace lines to get the holes marked for drilling. Okay, so you'll see here, this is not an exact science. I did the outside and the inside line, and I kind of just makeshift did a center line, and I just drew some lines out, and I'm just gonna center punch, and we'll have different size holes going around this whole thing.
Here's a finished product, which in turn is going to give me more work because now I need to make some drifts to go through most of these holes. But we've got quarter inch, three eighths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, half inch, and three quarter. And they all go over the hardy hole. Drift will be able to run in there without blowing out the back side of the work. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you have any comments or critiques, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If this kind of content is of interest to you, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Have a good one.